Welcome back, my followers. I appreciate you guys for being patient with me. I have had a couple messages asking if I'm okay, asking if everything's alright. Yes, I am okay. The only reason why I haven't been doing videos is the fact that there's been severe storms almost every day, if not every other day. And if you watch two videos ago, I show you a tree that was knocked down to the previous storms. So I'm not going to do a video and then risk losing the internet or power because that would just piss me off. I won't lie. Today I'm actually going to talk about what it's like owning a Basset Hound. Um, I was, I have found out that over my Instagram account I have gained immense followers. And he as well does have an Instagram account. I'm not joking. He has his own Instagram account. Um because of how popular he is, and because of on my page I kept seeing nothing but basset hounds, and that's okay, I mean, I love hounds, but there's a few drawbacks to owning one. I mean, one major one that I do not like, and I didn't think about it as a puppy, uh, is the fact that as he aged, as he is now, he's sitting here with me, but as he aged, he got bigger, of course, like most dogs do, it's not, I mean, duh. However, the worst thing about it is as he aged, he started secreting oils, and they come from his neck, which is what we call the vajayjay, because they looks like a vajayjay. Yes, I'm talking about your vajayjay. He just looked at me. He looked at me like this. He just looked at me. Yeah, your vajayjay. Um, and one of the worst things about it is the fact that it can gain bacteria. And I found out his ears and vajayjay um, are basically like vaginas. I'm sorry to say, but that's what they are. They're vagina ears and vagina neck. Now, we always joked about it being a vajayjay, but then we found out, no, it's legit like that. We found out that uh, as we got here and moved here in this house now, he has gained yeast infections. And he has yeast infections in his ears. Now, I mean, I'm not trying to warn you off, like, saying don't get a basset hound or anything like that. Go ahead and get a basset hound. If that's what you want, then, I mean, they're very gentle dogs for a family. They're very wonderful. I mean, they're kind of gross, but that's, I mean, that's it's territory of a hound. They are great hunting dogs, however, mine is a coward. Bubba the Basset is a coward. But, um, there are a few things, like I said, the ears. Another thing that you should be aware of that we did not know about is they often carry cancer. Um, we have had to have cysts removed on my dog, or this is actually my dad's dog. We got it. This is my dad. This is my dad's dog. And... We had to have a couple of them actually removed. One we thought was cancerous. However, it was a thousand dollar damn ingrown hair that we had to get removed. But that's okay. I mean, the fact that it wasn't cancerous is okay. But just to let anybody know that wants to buy a hound or adopt a hound, um, they do carry cancer. Uh, I didn't know this. He just, he gets cysts. A lot of them usually are fatty cysts. And that's, I mean, there's nothing you can really do about it. But if it starts to hurt them, go get it checked out because... It might be cancerous, it might not. Another one of the nasty things... <clears throat> I'm sorry. Another one of the nasty things that I can't stand about a hound. When he was a puppy, I just stepped out of the shower. I mean, he was laying on my bed. He jumped up on my bed. I just had a fly? Okay, I thought that was another... I thought that was like a spider or something. Sorry. He just... I just stepped... I'm making sure... Yeah, it's a fly. Okay, ignore my paranoia. He, I just stepped out of the shower as I restart the story three times. And I was in a towel, and I walked across because my clothes, I mean, my room was, like, right across the hall from the shower. So I never really put my clothes in there. I'd lay them out on the bed or on my chair. And I'd go across, get changed. However, when I was drying off with the towel, you know, doing, like, that back swipe, I looked at Bubba, and Bubba coughed. And it was so gross because this was, like, a back-of-the-throat phlegm, and he shot it right on my leg. I ran downstairs and looked at my dad. I said, this is, and my mom, they were all laughing. Because I looked at, this is the most disgusting thing ever, and I have to re-shower. This had sticks, twigs, leaves, everything in it that was in his throat caught. It was disgusting. He hawked a loogie on my leg. And I was sitting, and basically he owned me from that day. Like, this is, I'm like, he looked at me, you're my, you're my sister, that's it. I claimed you. That's basically what he did. Um... There's another one of the things that I don't like about them is their scent glands. They do produce a lot of scent, especially if there's either a critter such as a raccoon or snakes. They do pres they do present a lot of scent, and it's just something that you can't control. It's just what they do naturally. This usually comes from the jowls, which is around the area of his cheek. It produces from a scent gland back here, 
It comes from his paws. It comes from his ears. It comes from his neck. And it does smell. It smells bad. I mean, it smells wretched. It's gross. But, you know... I mean, I never thought that I'd love a hound because they are disgusting, especially with the drool. I can't handle the drool. My mom one time was drinking a cup of coffee. I went to school. We, uh, it was just me because I was the lone kid after my brother graduated. My mom made a cup of coffee. She was sitting there drinking it, and he shook his head, and a piece of saliva, like the drool, the shoelaces, fell and plopped in her coffee. She dumped it out because that's disgusting. I don't even know the use of it, but it's it's there and it's a, it's it's like a fun game though to avoid it if he shakes run away. Um, but that's mainly the downfall of it. But legitimately, I can look past all the bad. I really can. The fact that he's a loving dog, he's very cute, even though he's a coward. He eats flies. He's our fly killer. I mean, they are really great dogs for kids. They uh, okay. This one's a coward and can't stand kids right here, but. Most of the time, they can handle kids. They can handle being around other people. And that's okay, you know. He just has to get used to him. Um, but there are a lot of perks to owning a Basset Hound. And the fact of having a big cuddler who thinks he's a lap puppy because he was raised around two chihuahuas. You know, that's one of them. I mean, he is a big cuddler. And he definitely can keep you warm during the wintertime. And he's just overall an adorable dog. I mean, these are just heads ups that I'm giving people that want to adopt a hound. You know, I'm just letting you know that those are the things that you should look for. And if anything, just look for, you know, look for the perfect dog for you. And if you believe that a hound is perfect for you, then go get it. Because it's so worth it. I won't, I won't say I can never say myself ever owning a hound again. Because I can see myself buying one. That's my dog. I can see myself buying another hound. I love him to death. So thank you all for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.